Namaste. Welcome to your mat today. Thank you for joining me on this magic carpet. We will do a pretty classic burst of a practice today. And as you make your way through, I not only invite you, but I dare you to take what you need from your practice. That might be to follow along directly with me, or it might mean pulling back a little bit today, taking extra child's poses, holding a pose a little longer than I'm offering, or maybe it's adding on triple chaturangas or one-handed handstands. You decide along the way. Give yourself permission to receive whatever it is you need and to allow that to be subject to change at any moment. Please join me in child's pose to begin. Let's take this one with the knees relatively close together, the big toes touching. You can fold right over the thighs, extend the arms back alongside the hips so the shoulders can just melt around the knees. Allow your forehead to rest upon the mat if that's comfortable. Add just a slight bit of pressure to the brow, symbolically crushing the prefrontal cortex right behind it where the ego resides. Right here, right now, starting to take that permission, that creative license, to feel as good as you possibly can in this very moment. You might gently rock the forehead from side to side, Notice what you're feeling upon the backs of the hands, the texture, the mats. And then in the palms, is there a breeze? Open up the hands, spread the fingers wide apart. Invitation to the light. To illuminate that intuition that will guide you through your practice today. Deep breath in. Open up your mouth, let this exhalation fall away. Let your next inhale be a little longer than the last. And again, open up your mouth, sigh the exhale out. Feel the body become a little heavier upon the surface of the earth. One more deep breath in here. Can you feel the belly press against the thighs as it fills? Open your mouth even wider. Shift your jaw side to side. Big release of an exhalation. Next inhale. Sweep the arms forward on your mat. Plant the palms. And exhale. With an inhalation, lift up into tabletop position. As you exhale, you might take a sway side to side. Situating the hands beneath the shoulders, creases of the wrist aligned with the front edge of the mat, fingers spread wide. The knees land below the hips. And with your next inhalation, the belly fills, it dips toward the earth as the chin and tailbone lift toward the sky. With the exhale, curl in the opposite direction, chin to chest now, tailbone tucks. The inhale fills you up as you dip into cow pose. A little roll of the shoulders back opens the heart. With the exhale, we round into cat. Belly draws up toward the spine. Inhale for cow, squeeze the shoulder blades together, feel the rhomboids warm up. With the exhale, open up the space between the blades. Next inhalation, extend the right arm forward, the left leg back. With the exhale, same rounding of the spine, draw elbow to knee beneath the body. Inhaling, lengthen, spread the fingers and the toes. 
with the exhale, crunch tight. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, one more crunch. Get as tiny as you can. Inhale, go long. And with the exhale, tabletop. Pause for a breath in here, neutral spine. Let the exhalation tumble out through the mouth. And with your inhale, lengthen left arm ahead. Right heel presses back. With the exhale, squeeze elbow to knee. And inhale, expand. Exhale, contract upon the breath. With the inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. And inhale, lengthen. With this exhale, tabletop position. As you inhale, tuck the toes. And with the exhale, glide up into down dog. Immediately the head goes heavy. And you begin to pedal through the feet. Maybe you roll around the palms of the hands. Eventually settling. At least equal weight in the thumb side, the stronger side of the wrist. With your next inhale, rise up onto your toes. Exhaling, take a bend in the knees, only as deep as feels nice. As you inhale, straighten the legs, lift up onto the toes. Exhale, another bend of the knees, maybe a little deeper, belly moves toward the thighs. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift onto the toes. With the exhale, one more juicy bend, lubricates the knee joints. Inhale to lift way up, gaze up. And with the exhale, tiptoe up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. With the knees soft, clasp opposite elbows. Allow yourself a gentle sway from side to side. The weight of the head naturally drawing down on the cervical vertebrae and the neck. That spaciousness cruising up through the thoracic spine where the ribs connect. Beyond the curve of the lumbar, all the way up through the sacrum. With your next inhalation, pause still. Exhale, feel the spine and the mind decompress. One more inhale, perhaps a tiny pulse up with the breath. With the exhale, release the elbows, soft bend in the knees. Use a full inhalation to roll up to stand. Heavy arms dangling from the shoulder girdles. Head is the last thing to rise. As it does, let your exhale be a roll of the shoulders back into the sockets. Take a few of those if it feels good. Consider fluttering the eyes closed. And then pause in Tadasana, atop your mountain. As you inhale, lift all 10 toes up off the mat. Exhaling, replace them, maybe one at a time. Spread wide apart. Inhaling, press down into the toes, maybe even leaning forward a touch. Roll the shoulders back, feel the crown rise into space. With the exhalation, the shoulders soften. The abdominal wall releases. Subtle sway back into the heels, into the support of the atmosphere behind you. Inhale, again press into the toes. Shift forward if you'd like. The entire rib cage expands as the lungs inflate. Neck lengthens, crown lifts. Exhale into softness. One more breath in here, scanning up through cross sections of you. And exhale, let go. 
flutter the eyes open. With your next inhale, reach up to the sky. Lightly unite the fingertips overhead. With the exhale, pull them down past the face, beyond the heart, hinge at the hips, into your forward fold. The head and the arms go heavy, the knees softly bend. With an inhale, roll up to stand. And with the exhale, circle your shoulders back. Inhaling, reach up. Press the palms together this time. With the exhale, fold. Let go. And inhale to roll up. Maybe you circle the wrists as you rise. The exhale, shoulders roll back. Inhale, once more through this little sequence. The exhale, we bow down. Inhale to roll up. And with your next inhalation, reach up to the sky. Unite the fingertips. As you exhale, track them all the way down the front of you. Hinge at the hips and back. The head and arms go heavy, the knees softly bend. With an inhale, roll down. Exhaling, circle the shoulders back. And inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. With the exhale, fold. Place the palms on the shins. Inhaling, press into the shins to lengthen the spine. And with the exhale, let go. Inhaling, roll up. This time, reach straight to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. With the exhalation, bow down over the legs, Uttanasana. Palms to shins or fingers to the earth. With an inhale, lengthen, tailbone through crown. Exhaling, plant the palms, step the left foot back. Take the right to meet it in plank. Here, one big breath in, shift to the tips of the toes. The exhale, lower the knees. Elbows bend no deeper than 90 degrees for a half chaturanga. As you inhale, lay down onto the thighs for cobra pose. And with the exhale, make your way through tabletop into downward facing dog. Here, an inhalation. Rolls from the palms and the soles, up the arms and legs to the apex of the hip. Open up your mouth. Let the exhale go. Feel yourself ground. Next inhale, rise up onto the toes. Gaze up between the thumbs. As you exhale, bend your knees. Step the right foot forward. Bring the left to meet it. And inhale, the spine lengthens. The exhale, Back. Inhale to rise up, reach up, straight to Urdhva Hastasana. The exhale, fold right back down, Uttanasana. Inhale, we lengthen for Ardha. With the exhale, the right foot steps back. As the left meets it, bend the knees and the elbows for your half chaturanga. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, up onto your toes, drishti between the thumbs. The exhale, bend the knees, empty your breath, left foot steps forward, right foot meets it. And inhale, the spine lengthens. Exhale, we fold. Inhale to rise up, reach up, maybe a little higher. With the exhale, bow deep. Inhaling, the spine lengthens. As we exhale, step or hop straight to Chaturanga or your half. If you're hopping, land with elbows bent to absorb the shock. Inhale for cobra or full up dog, tops of the feet, palms of the hands on the earth. Exhale into downward facing dog. Three breaths here. 
Traditionally, the hands are about shoulder width distance apart, feet about hips width. The space between the hands and the feet is variable, depending on how your hamstrings feel, what's going on inside. Give your head a little wobble. And with your next inhalation, lift onto your toes, gaze forward. Exhaling, bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold deep. Inhale to rise up, reach up. And exhale, hands to the heart, eyes closed. In Samastaihi, an inhalation rises from the roots through the soles, up the legs to the heart. With the exhale, slowly draw the palms apart. Lower the arms to the sides. A little lean back into the heels. As you inhale, press into your toes. Again, taking that scan all the way up through the physical body. With the exhalation, track back down noticing any energetic changes. Two more breaths here as you check in, noticing any heat, any new energy flowing. And with your next inhalation, reach up. As you exhale, bow. The peace fingers and thumbs grip the big toes. With the inhalation, pull up on the toes, lengthen the spine. The exhale, bow. Draw the belly toward the thighs, the crown toward the earth. The knees can be bent as much as you'd like. With an inhale, again, draw up on the toes, gaining some tension through the arms. With the exhale, power up the biceps to draw the body in toward the legs. Another round of breath here in Padagustasana, one of the only pulling postures in yoga. Exhaling, release the toes, bend the knees. A full inhale to roll up to stand. Shake the shoulders as you rise. With the exhale, roll them back. Lean into the left foot. Inhale, and the right foot rises for tree pose to the ankle or the calf. Up above the knee joint if you'd like. Unite the palms in Anjali Mudra. Lift the gaze, the drishti, at least up to where the wall unites with the ceiling. And follow the next inhale from the root up the leg as it hits the heart the prayer is floated up overhead with their exhalation open the arms about parallel with the earth inhale reunite them overhead and with the exhalation the hands move to heart center as the right foot drops back down to the earth Inhale, heart lifts to meet the thumbs. The exhale, arms drop for Tadasana. Inhale here, just one time. Savor the exhalation. And with your inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhaling, we bow. At the bottom of your fold, Bend the knees enough that you can slide the hands beneath the feet. The toes curl way up onto the creases of the wrists. As you inhale, pull up on your feet like you could lift yourself off the mat. And with the exhale, straighten the legs any amount. Let the head go heavy. Inhaling again, draw up on the feet, lengthening through the whole torso. The exhale, little snuggle of the abdomen toward the thighs. 
One more round of breath here. Crown magnetized toward the earth. Exhaling, set the hands free. Bring that soft bend to the knees. As you inhale, roll up, circle your wrists up. Exhale, and the shoulders roll back. Weight presses into the right foot. Inhaling, the left rises for Vrikshasana, other side. Might land in the same place as the other. Maybe different, that's fine too. Palms come together. And with an inhale, they rise. The whole rib cage gets a little longer. For the exhale, open the arms, reach in opposite directions. Maybe you drop them all the way down to the sides this time. And with the inhale, lift them back up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Left foot meets right. Pause for a breath in. And out. Lower the arms. Here in Tadasana, breathe. Our check-in point. That place to notice what's happening within. beyond the knees. One more inhale, maybe sit the hips a little lower. And with the exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhaling, the spine lengthens. With the exhale, step or hop to chaturanga for a flow or down dog for a rest. Inhale is cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Open up your mouth. Let this exhale go. And with an inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhaling, step it up between the hands. Flatten the back heel to the earth. As you inhale, sweep the arms up alongside the ears for warrior one. Exhale, and we might sink a little lower. Hips and shoulders pointing ahead. One more big breath in. As you exhale, open up to your left for warrior two. Hips and shoulders now pointing to the side. Arms parallel with the earth. Pause for an inhalation. Exhale, drishti out over the front hand. One more inhale. As you exhale, flip that palm. Inhale for reverse warrior. Left hand lightly to the back of the left leg. Right arm overhead. As you exhale, glide through warrior two. Reach forward. And then set the right elbow on the knee. Sweep the left arm up alongside the left ear for side angle pose. Here we'll breathe in. So deeply you can reach a little further through the left finger. Exhale. The inhale. Rise back up to warrior two. Laser vision over the front hand. As you exhale, the hands surround the right foot. Step straight to down dog for a pause or take a vinyasa. If you're flowing, inhale is cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose. And through your mouth, exhale. Inhaling, the left leg rises, spread the toes. With the exhale, big step forward, round through the upper back. The back heel melts to the earth, some space between the feet. 
inhaling, we reach up for warrior one. And with the exhale, you might sink in a little lower. Check that the front knee isn't cruising forward of the ankle. Inhale. Exhale, we'll open up to warrior two. Now hips and shoulders point right. Drishti over the front hand. Inhale. And exhale. One more big breath in here. Reach through the fingers. As you exhale, flip the palm in your vision. Inhaling, toss it up overhead for reverse warrior. And with the exhale, we glide into extended side angle pose. Awareness. In the back heel, follow the inhale from there, up the leg, through the side, out the fingers in the sky. Exhale. With the inhale, warrior two, gaze ahead. Exhaling, hands surround the front foot, chaturanga, or straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, for cobra or up dog. And exhale, we meet in down. Inhale here. Open up your mouth. Let the exhalation go. Another deep breath in through your nose. Maybe a little bobble of the head to lengthen the neck. Open your mouth. Stick out your tongue. Growl this one away. And with your next inhale, rise up onto your toes. Gaze up between your thumbs. The exhale, bend your knees, make your way forward. Inhale, go long. The exhale, fold deep. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, fold right back down. Inhaling, the spine lengthens. With the exhale, chaturanga or your variation. Inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in through your nose. Let this one out through your mouth. Same flow, one breath per motion. Inhale, right leg rises. With the exhale, big step forward, back heel plants. Inhale for warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, chaturanga or straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, hips to the sky. Pause for a breath in. Lion's breath out. And inhale, the left leg rises. With the exhale, step forward, back heel melts. Inhale, Vira Vajrasana 1. Exhale, Vira 2. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, Vira 2. And exhale, Chaturanga or Down Dog. Inhale, heart shines ahead. Exhale, hips to the sky. In Down Dog, three rounds of breath. In stillness, the breath the only thing moving it might feel good to dance it out around your mat. Maybe a bend of the knees or a shake of the hips. One more deep breath in. Full release of an exhalation. Inhale, up onto your toes. Exhaling, bend the knees, step or halt forward. And inhale to gaze forward. 
Exhaling full. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, stare, Samastayuki. Drop the eyes closed. Inhale. And then exhale, arms to the sides, Tadasana. Follow the inhalation from the roots through the soles of the legs, past the heart through the crown. The exhale, right back down again. One more deep breath in here. And a slow breath out. As you inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhaling, take a big step back with your left foot, quarter turn to your left, arms parallel with the floor. Inhale, reach a little further through the fingertips. With the exhale, hinge at the hips. Lower the hands to the earth beneath the face. As you inhale, press into the palms to lengthen the spine. And with the exhale, bow into the space left by the absence of the breath. The hands can walk back in line with the feet for traditional Pasarita Parottanasana A. Or you might flip the fingers to point behind you. Use them to walk yourself a little further through. That rounding of the spine comes the nervous system. Give your head a wobble. And breathe here. And with your next inhalation, walk the hands back up beneath the face. As you exhale, turn to face the front of the mat. We're lowering right into pigeon pose. So you'll scoot the right heel toward the left edge of the mat. Gaze over your left shoulder, the leg behind you. Make sure that it's about parallel with the edge of the mat. The toes pointed back. Now bring the gaze back to the front. With an inhale, a little press into the fingertips to lengthen the whole front of you. With the exhale, if you're lowering, take all that length with you. Maybe it's just the gaze that drops. Maybe you come down onto your forearms or stack them to make a pillow for the head. You might even curl the arms way out in front of you. Wherever you've landed, with an inhale, allow a little lift, it's a little curiosity. With the exhale, perhaps a bit of depth. Bring the awareness to the hands. What do you feel beneath them? Smooth floor, your sticky mat, the other hand. Wash the awareness up over the arms. The neck loosens, the shoulders soften. Scan along the spine. Wrap the awareness around the right hip. over the knee and the ankle beneath you. And then draw that same awareness all the way down the back leg, off of the toes. Inhale. With the exhale, zip the awareness all the way up the leg, over the back, into the hand. Plant them beneath the shoulders. With an inhale, walk yourself upright. 
exhale, lean onto the right hip, sweep the left leg forward. Full of the right foot presses to the inside of that extended leg. Allow yourself a gentle wobble side to side, just allowing the weight to distribute the spine to center. With an inhalation, reach up, turn toward the extended leg. As you exhale, come to hover above it. Just one breath in, a little lift. The exhale, let the hands drop to the earth or to clasp the foot or leg. And here, an inhalation flows freely. Exhale completely. One more breath. The exhale, plant the palms on the earth surrounding the leg. A full inhale to walk yourself upright. The exhale, right hand drops behind you, fingers pointing away, lean into it. Inhale and the hips lift, the left arm floats. As you exhale, gently set yourself back down again. The hands cruise over to the left edge of the mat for a gentle counter twist. Then inhale, straighten up. Bring the left sole to meet the right, in Baddha Konasana. Wrap the hands around the feet. Use the thumbs to massage the instep. And with an inhale, lift the drishti to the sky. Exhaling, trace a line with the gaze along the ceiling, down the wall, across the earth, to the toes. Inhale, just a slight pulse up, maybe discovering a little spaciousness. With the exhale, let the head grow heavy. And exhale, the elbows might press the knees a little wider open rather than down. One more full round of breath here. Can you tune into the heart echoing between you and the earth? The inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, release the feet. Lean onto the left hip. Slide the right leg back for pigeon on the other side. Line this one up as if you'd never done it before. Take that gaze back over the right shoulder. Check out the leg behind you. Center up for a lengthening inhalation. The exhale cushions your descent down to wherever you're going on this side. Allow a little lift with the inhale. With the exhale, you might stay. You might drop in just a little deeper. Close your eyes now. Tune into the breath. Flowing in and out through the nostril. Expanding and contracting through the rib cage. Rolling through the hips. Maintaining length through the back leg. Is there anything lingering you can let go of in the neck, in the shoulders? Anything you can allow the earth to absorb? The next exhalation, press the hands down into the earth beneath the shoulders. As you inhale, slowly rise. Press your mind. Exhale.
inhale, you lean onto the left hip. Sweep the right leg forward. Allow yourself that gentle sway, even a roll of the head in each direction, as you line up for Johnny Shirsasana. With an inhale, reach up. Turn toward the extended leg, lock the shoulders in. With the exhale, come to hover above that leg. Inhale, little pulse up. And with the exhale, drop down. You might clasp foot, leg. Left hand might grip the right wrist beyond the foot. Or you might just walk. Inhale. And then exhale. One more round of breath. Flex the front foot if you need any more in the hamstring. The exhale. The hands drop to the earth. A full inhale to walk yourself upright. Exhale and the left hand lands behind you. The inhale, the hip. And the right arm rise, heart opens wide. Exhale, and you gently, softly settle down. Hands cruise over to the right for a little twist. With the inhale, we lift. Exhale, slide the left heel out to meet right. Call the sit bones back and the heart flow. As you inhale, a little length. And with the exhale, a little depth. One more time with the inhale, allow a lift through the abdomen, around the lower back. With the exhale, strive to drop lower abdomen toward upper thighs. Chin toward chest. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more deep breath in here. The exhale. Let the palms on the mat. Use an inhalation to walk yourself upright. And with the exhale all the way down onto the back. Inhaling, slide the heels in toward the glutes. And with the exhale, peel the hips up into a little baby back bend. With an inhalation, the hips might rise a little higher. The chin stays centered, protecting the neck. Exhale. One more inhalation. Maybe you lift up onto the toes. And with the exhale, you slowly lower the center of the back to the earth. The sacrum follows. The heels ground. With an inhalation, extend the left leg out on the mat. The arms up overhead. And as you exhale, use both hands to reach for the right knee, drawing it in toward the right shoulder rather than your central axis. Inhaling, take a few gentle circles of that right knee. And with the exhale, left hand guides the knee across the body to the left for a twist. Left shoulder might scoot to the left. Inhale, and the right arm reaches out to the right. Part your lips. Blow the exhalation away. Full breath in.
gentle breath out. Let the abdomen soften. The twist naturally deepens. One more full round of breath here. And an inhalation to roll onto the back. Straight into happy baby. The hands grip the baby toe blade or the big toes of the feet. As you exhale, draw down on the feet or big toes. Squeezing knees toward armpits. With the inhale, you might introduce a little sway right to left. With the exhalation, pause. As you inhale, you're going to release left foot to the earth in front of the glute, straight right leg out on the mat, arms up overhead. Exhaling, reach for the left knee, squeeze it in toward the shoulder for Pawamukhtasana. Inhale. We'll trace a few circles with the knee if that feels nice to the hip. With the exhale, the twist. Left knee over to the right. Right shoulder might smuggle that way as well. Inhale, and the left arm extends to the left. Through parted lips, press the exhale away. Inhale, and exhale, let go of effort, breathe in, and out. Inhaling, we'll roll on to the back. This time, just extend the left leg. Out about mats with distance from the right. Snuggle the hips. The arms open to the sides. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. The chin might move toward the chest just slightly to lengthen the neck. Lift the awareness up above the crown. Draw the inhalation from there into the brain cells. Softening of the mind. Open up your mouth with a big sigh, the neck softens, the shoulders loosen, the arms go heavy. Inhalation fills the lungs, expands through the ribcage, presses into the skin across the chest. Through parted lips with a little force, Blow the exhalation away, propelling the center of the back down into the earth. The lower back follows. And from there, the inhale rises through the pelvis, through the nostrils. The exhalation rolls, releasing any effort left from the quads, through the calves, out the toes. Easy inhalation. Effortless exhalation. A few breaths.
just going to wiggle your fingers and toes. Rotate ankles and wrists. With your next exhalation, bend your knees, wrap your arms around them. With the inhale, initiate to rock from side to side. With your exhale, rock all the way over onto your right side. Pause here for an inhalation and an exhale. And inhale, make your way up into a comfortable seated position. As you exhale, roll your shoulders back, flip your palms to face the sky, thumb and forefinger unite, and chin neutral. The inhale rises from the root all the way up the central energy channel, out through the crown of the head. With the exhale, the shoulders melt away from the ears. Elbows soften. Fingers loosen. Breathe in. Palms in front of the heart. With an exhale, lift the hands from the heart to the head. Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Namaste.